Hi, this is Steven at cathedralguitar.com, and this is my review of the Yamaha QT1 metronome. Yeah, to practice guitar, you pretty much need a good metronome, and this one is really nice because it um, is not very expensive. It's about $20. Um, it does the basic clicking function quite nicely. Um, and then it's got a couple other features that I really like that I'll tell you about. Um, feature number one, though, is that it actually has a sound that's not obnoxious. You can get a ton of metronomes out there that will drive you crazy within one minute. But this has, you know, a click that is actually pretty pleasant. And what I like about it, it's got a volume control, so you can actually set the volume. That's, that's full blast. And then you can dial it back to where it's just barely audible or at any point in the middle. Um, if you get tired of that sound or if you don't like that sound or if it's not audible, there's a second sound, which is this one. I actually never use this one. It's just kind of like a smaller, it's almost, to me, it sounds like wood blocks. And I don't, don't use that one. I, just, I like this basic sound just fine. It sounds good. Now, the... Um, thing I like about it is that won't drive you crazy. I can listen to this all day and I'm totally happy with it. Of course, you can make it louder, you can make it softer, and you can turn off the click sound but still get the metronome um, tempo from the light. It's also cool because you can practice at night with the lights off if you're so inclined and um, you still have a, a visual a metronome and tempo indicator. Um, I usually use it pretty low so that it's not obnoxious, but you can hear it. So something like, well, something like that. Um, and then basically, it has a very easy to turn uh, tempo markings that are detented on various settings. What I like about these settings is that they're the standard settings. Um, you can click easily from one setting to the next. And then you can even do an in-between setting if you want to do something that's in the middle of two settings. It's pretty easy just to grab it, put it in between. So this is the Yamaha QT1. It's about $20. You can't go wrong with it. It seems to be very well made. Um, nine volt battery. Um, does not drive you crazy. <laughs> and then there's actually a a last reason why I like it. If you do anything with ensembles, oftentimes it's hard to get a metronome going in an ensemble setting. But if you look at this guy, I've got it cranked up. So you, you can crank it up pretty loud, and you can actually set it in the, in the middle of, say, you have a, a quartet. You can set it in the middle, and it's got little speaker vents in four directions. So it's kind of like an omni metronome. It just doesn't just kind of go one way for a personal metronome. This can actually be used for a duo, trio, quartet just whatever you need it for. And um, you can set it in the middle, everyone can hear it, they can see it, and so that's a good way to do that. I occasionally use that feature, but I, I most, mostly use this to practice uh, technical exercises for classical guitar. So there you have it, the Yamaha QT1.